It's the latest and greatest in hair restoration using a robot to take hair grafts. We're taking action for your health today with how it works and what the new transplants look like. All right, one of the most common questions people tend to ask is about the robot, the artist robot. And they believe that because it's robotic surgery that it's the most advanced method to perform hair restoration surgery. Well, the bottom line is the artist has been out since 2010. And in 2010, one of my colleagues said to me that he was buying it. And I said, why? And he said, because it's better than I am. Now, why was it better than he was? That's because he couldn't perform follicular unit extraction. Now, in my personal opinion, the artist robot has been experimenting on humans trying to get better for the past 14 years. And it's still not as good as the equipment I was manufacturing 14 years ago. It's not as good as the punches that I was manufacturing 14 years ago. And it's not nearly as good as the punches that I've been manufacturing the past four to six years. So let's look at one of the big problems with artists. Artists cuts a very large hole in your donor area. And in that hole, I can fit at least three to four of my grafts. And that's because the artist slides across the donor area. It has a very difficult time excising grafts low in the donor area and over on the sides above the ears. And so it destroys grafts as it's going. And it was never evaluated and developed based on the experience of a highly skilled and highly trained FUE surgeon. So what they do is they take out grafts that should look like this with hairs in them and it cuts them in two. So you wind up taking just this top out and leaving the bulbs behind. And what happens is you kill both halves. And so you're killing the hair in the donor area. You're going to grow less hair on the top of your head. And what all too ha often happens with the artist robot is you're going to get a terrible result. So the watchword is if you see robotic surgery, if you see the artist robot, avoid that clinic. No doctor who is good at FUE is going to own this piece of equipment. And one other thing to bear in mind is that the company has a tendency to charge you for every graft the artist takes out. So let's assume they get an intact graft that may look like this with two hairs in it. What they tell the, their nurses to do is cut that graft in half. Now you have a graft over here and a graft over here. The problem is this two hair graft is going to cover better than either one of these single hair grafts. Now why do they do that? Because the artist is going to charge them for this graft and you're going to pay for this graft, but artist doesn't get anything for it. You're going to pay for two grafts. They're going to pay artists for one, and you're going to get the same amount of hair, and you're paying double for it. In fact, I ran into a patient in Las Vegas who said he went to have the artist done, and they gave him $500 free dollars worth of work. Artist doesn't give away anything for free. Because a doctor has to pay artists for every single graft. So if the doctor has this device, you know he can't do FUE surgery. Just avoid that guy.